Hey everyone, it's Michal from XDA Developers. What you're looking at right now is the Honor Magic 2, Honor's latest flagship smartphone. It has High Silicon's latest Kirin 980 chipset, 8 gigabytes of RAM, super fast 40 watt wire charging, and runs EMUI 9 on top of Android 9 Pie. But the standout feature of this device is the pop-out camera. There's three cameras tucked away in there, and there's three cameras on the back. Six cameras in total. Honor doesn't have any plans to sell this device internationally, though, so you'll have to import it if you live outside of China. Fortunately, it's quite easy to remove the pre-installed Chinese services and install the Google Play Store, like I did here. Still, most of the unique Features on the Honor Magic 2, like the Yo-Yo Digital Assistant that you see when I slide this down, are intended for a Chinese audience. Some of the features, though, can be shown off outside of China. For example, the real-time live translation feature that even works in the middle of a phone call. We hadn't seen this feature before on any other device, and it immediately reminded us of the Pixel 3's call screening feature. We wanted to take this feature for a spin to see how well it works, so we scripted an English to Spanish phone call between myself and Mario Serafero to test it out. Although we scripted the conversation, we didn't test beforehand how well the feature would handle it. What you're going to see is our first and only attempt. Hey, how's it going? Hola, ¿cómo te va? Estoy bien. ¿Cómo está usted? I'm fine. How are you? Now that October is finally over, I can catch up on everything I've been meaning to finalmente. write. Although, I have to finish my part 2 of my review for the Pixel 3 and OnePlus 6T, and then I have to review the Honor Magic 2 I'm calling you from. Puedo ponerme al día con todo. He estado queriendo escribir aunque tengo que terminar mi parte 2 de mi revisión para el Pixel 3 en 1 más 60 y entonces tengo que revisar la magia de honor también. Te llamo desde. Eso suena difícil. Ya he leído tu revisión del Pixel 3 y 6T, pero no he tenido la oportunidad de ver el anuncio del Magic 2. ¿Qué tan bueno es ese dispositivo? Me imagino que... Ya que está diseñado hard. para China, no soporta todas las bandas correctas de LTE. The smallest two, how good that device is. I imagine it is designed for China. It does not support all the correct bands of T. Surprisingly, I get pretty decent speeds on T-Mobile in Houston. I haven't traveled with it yet, so I don't know if it'll do well in every city. Sorprendentemente me dan velocidades bastante decentes en T-Mobile en Houston. Aún no he viajado con él. Así que no sé si va a hacer bien en cada ciudad. ¿Hay alguna funcionalidad nueva? There are some new functionality. Yeah, it was briefly mentioned during the announcement, but there's a live translation feature for when you're in a phone call. TK says it's not on his Mate 20 Pro, and I've never heard of another device with it. Basically, it transcribes the audio during a phone call between 10 different languages, including English, Arabic, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Russian, Japanese, and Chinese. You just set which language you're speaking and what language the other party is speaking, and, during a phone call, you can activate it by pressing a little button. It would be a good functionality to use along with the detection of call scams of the new Pixel. Pretty well, actually. I'll share the transcription with you. Muy bien. En realidad, compartiré la transcripción contigo. Sorprendente. No puedo esperar a leerlo. Amazing. I can't wait to read it.